Hey everyone, we are back with Crash 1. We are about to enter the lab, uh, and very possibly we, you know, it's, it's likely. We're gonna, we're gonna finish this one today. Uh -huh. You know, when I do things right. Um, but yeah, no, uh, I, I, uh, not entirely opposed to coming back to, oh, well, Yeah, I'm not entirely imposed to coming back to this one and doing, um, like, gems, time crystal, such. But, uh, Crash 2 is calling my name. I gotta, I gotta get on that. Which is what is gonna be really motivating me to just get through this one quicker, I guess. I, I like Crash 3. That's gonna kill me. Nope. Oh, that's right. They got a, they got a, they got a, there's a TNT hiding. Yeah, not spinning into that. You can't get me this time. Could use that. I only wasted a whole bunch at the beginning here. Whatever. It's warm up. And this will be ideal. No. Oh. There's probably something like way up there that I can't get now. Whatever. I don't need everything, just a lot. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Hey, yep, there was definitely two up there. I bet you they were both lives. It would have been nice had I gotten three, right? Oh, Mr. Electric Hansy McGee, huh? Oh, oh, that's right. You don't just die with the spins. We gotta push you all the way back. <laughs> Watch your step. Ooh, that's right. Nope. Oh, wait, that's not open, though. There we go. No, I want that live. I'm going back for it. Okay, so we got uh, lots of different zappies going on here. I could probably just go around those, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I doubt I even need to be, like, patient with this. I see what we're doing. Oh, and that just kills me. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting being right underneath the door, but you live and you learn. Also, yeah, uh, maybe this is, maybe I'm just uh, needing to slow it down a little bit. <laughs> and that that was a prime example of slowing down. Most definitely. It was not me uh, completely missing my objective. Okay, we got the bomb. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to get this going. Yep, I can just go right around that fool. I do not need to waste my time. Oh, that's going to close on me. Oh, no, it didn't. Nice. Wow. I won and I didn't deserve to. Oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. Why would there be a path just open and ready for me? Naturally, it has to be some kind of a trap if it looks like it's just there to be helpful. There we go. See, it's just it's just one challenge at a time, and the the track that we're on currently is not uh, not the friendliest. 
but we'll make it through. Because we have hope, willpower, and the natural instincts of a, of a bandicoot, which is to jump into electricity and an opening pit, only to not fall in the opening pit because of the electricity. It's, uh, it's my fan theory that uh, this actually isn't like a going back in time before Crash died. It's, um, it's the same Crash Bandicoot who like restarts his, his checkpoint over like, uh, like Subaru and ReZero. This is just Crash living in the... Living multiple timelines in the same world. Oh wow, that didn't kill me again this time. Okay, uh, one, two, three. Hey, that shouldn't have worked. Don't know why it did. Not complaining. I hate my life. Uh, it's not a life that I enjoy. It's it's one that I, I, I in fact hate. But it's okay. Wanna know why it's okay? This is Crash Bandicoot. This is one of the most relaxing games on the planet. Just because we're not winning doesn't mean we're not relaxing. Whatever. Thank you for not closing on me, door. I really do panic with you. Okay. So we're going to open this up and see where it's at. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. God dang it, I mistimed that completely. But I, okay, I know what I'm looking for now. There's three seconds of it being on, three seconds of it being off. I just got a plan for that. One, two, three. Oh wait, that was bad timing on my part, but it's fine. Because I still made it. So is it bad timing, or was it decent timing? Three. Oh god, I ran anyways. I had the timing. I ran anyways. I guess I didn't have the timing then. I don't know what I'm saying. Two, three. What? Two, three. Two, three. Alright, maybe it's only about two seconds actually. Okay. What? Two, three. Oh wait, can I just keep spinning this to keep the door? Oh, handy tip, handy tip. Okay, yeah, that's a lot easier when I don't have to actually, like, pre-plan the timing. Oh my goodness, do I... I just... I swear I was holding X on that for that little bit of a higher jump. If I weren't... Well, then I guess I just gotta get good at making sure I'm doing that. But if I were... I, I'm nervous, though. See, I normally would just try and jump on the sides, but, like back over there it's got some it's got some of them cylindrical shaped random lab devices there i don't know i don't know if those will block me from actually being able to jump on the sides but you know what i'm talking about the uh the the general this is a laboratory and it's got cylinder shape god dang it i've so not been struggling with that But yeah, just random lab devices. I bet you half of these don't do anything. They're just for show. God dang it. Whatever. Okay. It's fine. That is... Exactly why I refer to this game as the most relaxing on the planet. That is exactly why. God dang you, you let me run around so many times, and then you're just like, no, 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 not anymore, though. Now that you're starting to get the hang of that other part later on, this beginning part is going to get more difficult. Story of a Crash Bandicoot's life. Okay, yep, we're just going to keep doing this so I can see what I'm doing. I totally forgot I'm going to need to time that back part there. Okay, next time. There it is. No! Okay. 
Okay. Nope. That's just not going to work out for me. This will. Yay, and I can just run through electricity twice now with my Oogie Boogie. My Aku Aku. Okay. 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 Nope, that's not gonna work. That's also not gonna work. God dang it, that back... How did I get through this before without even thinking about it? Sheer dumb luck. Easily. Okay. It's time. It's, uh, oh, wait, that thing's just... Why does it feel so off sync with the electricity? Yeah, no, that's going to shut early. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those metal cylindrical bits, they just don't seem like something I can... Oh, I totally can. Oh my god. Okay. Well. We made it. And only two boxes missed. Which were in the bonus level. So that's, that's a thing. Uh, oh, wow, dang, I could... Well, no, the gem there is you have to get it without dying, so never mind. The Great Hall, which is not a level. I mean, it kind of is. I'm not going to go on that path. I know I can't go throughout the whole path. I don't have all the gems. But that is a path where if you get all the gems, you can go down it and uh, get a different ending. I think alternate ending, maybe like more to the ending. I don't know. Eh. Details. Let's kick this boss's butt. And uh, if we do this quickly, I might just be doing some uh, all-box crystal runs on some of these levels, or maybe even some time trials. There we go. Come on, Cortex, you big final boss, you. What you got? Oh, that's what you got. You got these. Oh, Meshuggah. Okay, the ones that go off screen are doing the whole back and forth doodad. It's. Bow, bow. So, if your name is Dr. Neo Cortex, meaning you're the new Cortex, who's the. Oh, I wasn't even. <laughs> wasn't even looking at Crash there. I was looking at Cortex. But if he's the Neo Cortex, is that him saying, like, he's the new brain? Like, he's. This is what human brains are supposed to be. Oh, and that kills me. I gotta spin it, right? Uh, because all I'm seeing is a brain that is physically bigger. And uh, not a brain that succeeds in plans. I mean, sure, you built a laser gun. But I mean, that laser gun is giving me some pretty sick openings to spin them back at you. To spin them back at you, no less. Like, this isn't like I've got some anti-laser gun military weapon. This is... I'm just spinning my physical body at it. Doesn't seem like it's too good of a, a laser gun there, Cortex. But I suppose it's kicking my, kicking my butt thus far. Oh, don't you shake your fist at me. What? I know I got that. Oh, and it's my first game over at the final boss. I was really hoping that... Uh, I was really hoping I wouldn't have seen Uka Uka at all in this game. I was hoping to wait until the third game to see that silhouetted face, but... I don't know, silhouetted, highlighted? I don't know, I guess you kind of see just the highlights. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gonna make sure to hop over that this time. There we go. Oh, and I forgot to spin because I'm panicking. Okay. This next one, he's gonna give me an opportunity to get him. 
And that's what we're going to try and do. Dang it. Okay, so the ones that go off to the side versus the ones that are shot right at, at me do have a slightly different color. I've never noticed that before. Will I be able to process that information in time to actually make my reaction time better? Probably not. But uh, just in case there's that one time that my brain does process it, that could be really handy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was another one. God dang it. I thought that was going to get the hit. Don't shake your fist at me, dude. That's so rude. Oh, God. What was I think? God, again. See, that's what I mean. Like, I, I can clearly see if that's the green one that I need to spin. But I'm not registering that. I'm just seeing laser, scary, run away. That being said, I appreciate that his pattern is the same every time, so that even my thick skull can absorb and learn information from this. Oh no! Okay, oof. Okay, where's the next one going? Where's it going? That's right, I'm gonna have to run through the middle for that one. Ooh. It's gonna come right here. Hey! Oh, no, and that's where I died last time, son of a gun. Or I guess not the last time. The last time I made it that far. You, yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're learning. We've got the we've got this in a better pattern. We got the pitter pattern. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay, we got that one. We usually don't get that one. We usually hit the first one and then miss that one. So this isn't too shabby. Okay, I'm not gonna fail on this one. This one is gonna hit. Because I remember, there's three of them that I've got to get. And I'm ready. I am ready, Freddy. Yes! This is what it means to be a ready Freddy, Cortex. Are you ready, Freddy? He's, he's, he's ready. He was... Was not expecting that. You know, I should be expecting that, though. Because honestly, like, every time I start getting confident and try trash-talking to the, uh, the enemy, that is when they pull something out I wasn't expecting, and I just get rolled. Oh, no, wait. Yes, yes, yes. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. A little bit more efficient this time. Take that, Cortex. Okay, and this is the one where I, I, I gotta hit it three times. I remember. Oh, but I don't do that. Could have made it through if I had, you know, my slide technique. The one that lets me slide. The one that doesn't come until the next game. I sure hope we have time to do, like, other crash stubs. I don't want to be this bad at the game. I know I'm not, I, I'm nothing special, but you know. It's a fun game. I'm going to play it. I just wish I could uh, play more of it for you guys and not sit on the same boss. Boom, okay. Now you're gonna do some some jumpy hoppy bits. I'm ready for your jumpy hoppy bits. 
shoot me that green. Oh, well, I was ready for him. I just uh, wasn't good enough, I guess. Okay. No Aku Akus. And he's he just gets so... What's the word? Aggressive. Which I guess is kind of usually a boss thing? I don't know. If you can think of a boss that isn't in any way, shape, or form an aggressive boss, feel free to throw it down in the comments. I'm curious. I don't know, I guess Undertale probably has... Because you can, like, pacifist run that. Which, I guess, doesn't stop the bosses from being aggressive. It just kind of stops the player. But still, I'd imagine some of those bosses aren't aggressive. They're just in your way. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that was the one I needed to hit. Gosh darn it. Oh, man, I thought I hit that, too. Bet you've never seen a bandicoot run like this. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. Now, I don't know this pattern, but I've got a mask. He's going to start with a green and... Uh... Oh. Well, hell yeah. Yay, and we saved the girl. The one that we never see again. Ever. Okay. Okay. Speaking of Toys for Bob, um, they are working on a new game. Uh, it's called Crash Worlds. I am stupid excited for it. Because it is going to be their first opportunity to not recreate like a Crash or Spyro, but to make their own Crash. Um, and considering they got experience remaking the first three, plus they d I'm pretty sure they did CTR, which not that that plays like a Crash game, but you know, it does more world building and such. World. Um, Crash Worlds is going to be ridiculously exciting. For me, I guess. I don't know how much they'll manage to hype it up or what they'll show. I hope we see more soon. I think all we have is, like, the 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 title logo thing or what, you know, what Crash Worlds thing is going to look like. And then we have a picture of one of the masks in, uh... It's actually in, like, a general Sony trailer. Not, not like, a Crash-specific trailer or anything. They had CTR present in the trailer um, as... Hey, we're Sony. We have Sony games. Look at us. Um, but yeah, one of the one of the Crash Team Racing carts in that trailer when they're going through uh, like a parking garage, you can see a new mask we haven't seen in another game before. So we 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 have one mask. We we've seen one new mask. Um, but yeah, Crash Worlds is going to be exciting. Toys for Bob. I know you'll do a good job. I just hope that it turns out even better than I'm expecting. Also, my theory as to why we never see Crash's girlfriend again. Okay, hear me out with this one. Because they were minding their P's and Q's, and it was Cortex who was all like, I'm doing experiments. Naturally, Crash going through all this to save her, he must very much care about her. So here's the deal. In the following games, in the next game, Crash 2, the girlfriend has actually been, like, sent to another island to lay low and out of danger because Crash isn't convinced, or Coco, I'll say, Coco's the smart one. Coco isn't convinced that Cortex is completely gone. And then Crash runs into Cortex, 
proves that. And that's why throughout the continuation of the game, they're like, oh, oh no, 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 let's not bring up that Crash girlfriend, Crash has a girlfriend. Uh, let's let's not bring up her because uh, then Cortex would be like, oh, right, yeah, I could kidnap her and use her as a hostage. That is something I totally could do. But he doesn't think to do it because she's hiding and they don't bring her up. They don't talk about her. It was it's a, it's a, it's a pro strat. It's not that she's completely disappeared. They just have to pretend she has for like protective purposes why she doesn't come back in the third game i'm still working on that theory but that's why she's not back for game two can i oh my goodness well i i'm sorry guys i didn't realize i could uh, skip that but yeah uh, let's go for the time crystal and lights out. Let's just see. I very much enjoy playing these levels, so. I enjoy them. Won't say I'm a pro. Okay, not doing too shabby so far, although... There's a, vo a very important factor that comes into play with the time. The time one. You die once, is level's over. You gotta restart from the very beginning. There ain't no checkboxes. And that is a very important factor that uh, changes things up a bit. That being said, I don't think you lose lives from time trials, so go crazy. Oh yeah, we'll freeze that clock down. Oh god, did I just get... I hope I didn't get that mask that's, like, further down in the level. Oh, goodness, I should have jumped on the rat. I, I, my brain was like, avoid it completely, Cory, but I was higher than it. I could have used it for a bounce. It was falling, because it will just walk to its own death like a good little evil soldier. Okay. God dang it. I wonder if the, I wonder if that's a sign I should switch to the directional buttons. I've been using the joystick, but I don't know. It'll also let me know in the comments if this happens to you guys. I'm curious if this is something other people deal with or if it's just me. Um, when I'm using the joystick, my thumb just kind of like slowly, slowly makes its way on off the joystick. And I find myself having to like move my other thumb over to hold the joystick down while I reposition my my thumb currently trying to move it but sliding off it's and but then my other thumb is off the x button to jump you know yeah we're going directional okay this this is the directional run There's only one direction to go, baby, and that is forward, and slightly to the right and left, sometimes. Ooh, don't know if I should have made that jump. I will admit it was lucky. And, yeah, my timing was off. My timing was off. Okay, here's the deal. I am going joystick. As much as I hate having to slide my thumb back on the joystick after a while, uh, I noticed one very important thing. If I am starting to jump right or left while I'm going forward and I wanted to change my direction back midair, it's a little more difficult to do with the directionals. That's right. Oh, there we go. We made it. I think before I did have to uh, jump on the side to not miss that one. So that's, I think, improvement in time, even if it is by like half a second. Whew. 
Yeah, sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith and hope that there's gonna be something there to catch you. Oh yeah, that's right. Getting the green gem and then using that is like easy platinum time relic in this level because it's like 30 seconds. Yeah, I I didn't think I was going to make it after I got sloppy with those. But um Yeah, no, when you have the green gem, you can take that little green gem portal teleporter or uh transporter thing uh and it like it ends the level early, so it you still finish the level, and there's a gem up there that you get, uh, but it takes like significantly. I I won't say significantly. It takes a lot less time to just go onto that and finish the level rather than going through to the very end of the level. Plus, it's safer. So if you're trying to get a gold and or platinum time on this. That is a good route to go. Don't have the green gem. But if I did, I would have been off this level already. Would have been done. God, I love how you guys are just timing so well for me. That did, wow, I should not have survived that. I did. Oh, give me something. At least the blue. Gold, hell yeah. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I don't need to save a name or whatever. I should. Maybe I'll do it next time. But does it matter if I'm the only one who plays on my console? Not really. Okay, what's another fun one? Because we got, we got some time. Boulder Dash, huh? You know what? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. That very first boulder level, I don't think... Like, you basically just have to do it without dying, and that gives you a good time, I'm pretty sure. Because you're kind of locked into... It's kind of a track. You're kind of locked into how... How much you can move. Or how quickly you can move, I should say. Why did I? Why did I? I... Mm. It's fine, though. We're good now. We're good now because... Because I'm... Kind of because I'm saying so, that's kind of a part of, like... I want to wanna patch on some confidence to see if that helps give me a boost through this. I understand I might not have this in all actuality. But really, though, I got this. You know, as a kid, I never really cared too much about what those were outside of realizing, hey, you're obstacles made of wood. Um, are those like crosses? Is that supposed to be like people died there? I mean, that makes sense because of the boulder. E cool. Not that it matters, because no one plays on my console, but I want to put my name on there anyways. Oh. It's only three letters. Well. Everyone who plays on my console in the future, if with this game, uh, will know. Uh, a man <laughs> put that high score up there. Just trying to type in Mango. Uh, you know what? First level. Let's see what... Let's Let's see. Yeah, I don't need the I don't need the introductory film. I beat the final boss. Oh, 
Boom. Give me that mask. And third mask. For the win. F T W. Yeah, I already can't get gold because I missed one of those boxes. This level is too short for me. Like, because of how short this level is and how easy it is, not messing up isn't... Like, it's expected that you just not mess up. See, yeah, I, I didn't think I could get the gold missing that one box. Uh, me go without an O. Okay, um... Oh, Mango the Bard. There we go. MTB. Okay, jungle rollers. Give me all your ding dang boxes. I want them all. Or do I want a time trial? I, I kind of just want a time trial. Let's go. I, I do really enjoy the time trials. It's, it's like an excuse to get reckless to see if you can do things faster. And sometimes you can, you, you find a delightful little surprise of, oh, wow, I can just kind of run through that part and it's not too scary. Oh, yeah, that was... This one, too, with the little, just that little bit of a lift on where those things roll... You kind of have to, there's a lot of, like, spacing play. Like, there's a lot, see, like, there, now I didn't have to jump on that box if I had just kind of short, shorter jumped onto the, it, it, hard to express while I'm just running through. But, yeah, things, they do. There we go. And give me that. Give me those. You ain't got nothing. That third one shouldn't have even spawned. It gave me a free wump of fruit. Are you prepared for that? Okay. That was just awful. I was right there at the end, too. But it'll work this time. It'll work this time. And why Why will it work this time? Because I know where I want to space myself now. And I didn't make effective use of where I wanted to space myself there. It's fine. That's also bad, because now I can't get the Invinza Mask later. But I just I just want the 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 relic. I don't I don't need a gold one. I like gold ones. I don't need it. And though I am moving a little bit slower because I don't have that invincibility, it doesn't seem like it's hurting me too much. Yeah. Cool. I'll take blue. It's something. Honestly, there's no worse feeling than, like, working through one of these and getting, like, nothing. Because your time wasn't even good enough for the blue one. That's really soul-crushing. Alrighty, I, man, if I try and do the speed thing on the great gate that, oh no, this is the first great gate, this one's shorter, I can do it, the, it's either the last level on this island or the second to last one on this island that has the much longer great gate, that one, that one is definitely a trial, that'll take a while, for me at least, not for some crazy individuals out there who are so much better at this game. Yep. 
Yep, I already can't get gold. I'll be lucky if I get the blue. Yeah, I didn't think I could get a good bouncy off of that. I'll be real. That was a trial and error, and it definitely was an error. There we go. That's how you want to get through that and not waste a mask like I did last time. Come on, add him away, y'all. Wow, wow. That was not at all what I expected for that. Whatever. That also wasn't what I expected. But I think I can still get a blue relic. I don't think I have done so poor as to not be able to do that. Whoa. No! No! I purposely used the mask to get through that. I wasn't expecting it would limit my potential. But it's fine now. We're fine now. God damn it. Whatever. Doing it for the speed. I don't need the... The mask. There's a much quicker way to go up those, I think. Like, you gotta hit it just right. And boy, howdy, do I not hit it just right, ever. But there's a strat. Okay, okay. Get it. Oh no. Oh no. And this is where I maybe don't even get a blue blue relic okay well that's it we're happening it's happening we're doing it come on at least a blue at least a blue i think i gotta beat a dollar five hell yeah honestly i have no idea where i got that minute and five second estimate that was a complete guess But yeah, okay, so we got it. Cool. Do we do this Rolling Stones? I don't know. Let's do, uh, you know what? Hog Wild, that's definitely can get the time on that one. Because you just have to not die. Because you can't change the speed of the Warthog. Um, this is one of those things where, like, Time Crystals weren't in the original version, and so when they added them to this, I think they probably ran into this and were like, well, I mean, we're giving it to the other levels. It kind of isn't the same thing. Or I suppose, I don't know, there's still the box gathering. So actually, if, if you can get the gem on this, you all you need to do is that same thing, but without dying. Like that. Um, which I'm pretty sure I, uh, I did do... <laughs> the first time earlier but uh doing that now is a different story but i can also remember that shield guy is going to be on the left side when i approach him this time and it'll be all good see always the same spot they're on the track Ooh. That's right. This is how I roll. Oh, yay. Yeah, I thought you could hide that one yellow box in the group of three, but you couldn't. 
Cause I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There it is. Give me the gold. Or platinum, right, because you can't really do that at a different speed. I wanna look at this I wanna look at the the, the high scoreboard for this one though, because I guarantee you someone's gonna have a score of like thirty five seconds somehow. Uh, let's see, where is the leaderboard? L1. Okay, 38 seconds is the the, the highest. Congrats, Luca94, Simeon, Simi1. Way to go, you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know how they did that. Uh, say we got time for about one more. Let's 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 do the time for Road to Nowhere. Let's do that one. Let's finish it off with a bridge. This is this is gonna be the last thing we'll remember from uh, this one before we go on to uh, to crash to. Okay, I would like to argue that they should be hop honorable. They should be hop honorable little little boys. They aren't. So I guess I guess there's that. Well, whatever. Second you turn around, yeah, that's right. Oh, God dang. It's going to happen, folks. Give me, give me roughly seven minutes or less. It's going to happen. I refuse to not let this happen. That's right. Okay, spin through instead of jumping into that group of three. That's going to help with my timing there. There we go. Ooh, that's right. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. We're at least halfway there. Maybe maybe closer to the end. Almost there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And I'm well aware that the ropes are going to be a quicker way to handle this. In theory. In theory. Oh god, that was almost the end of it right there. That was the end of it right there. Okay. If I, if I was more confident with the ropes, like, oh, I really should just practice that. Oh, thank you for stopping. You would have run me over from the behind. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Am I taking the best jumps? No. Are these jumps working, though? Hell yeah, they is. God, I remember one morning trying to get the time trial on this. Like, way back when, like, it wasn't remastered. It was, uh... If you wanted to play it again, you either had to get the PS1 or you'd buy it on the PlayStation 3 market because they they had it released on the market. God dang it. I got to you know what? I might just I might go ballsy and go for the rope on that one. That that dog is weirdly spaced for when I get there, like the time that I get there at didn't jump. Um but yeah, no, there's one morning where I I had gotten to this level and I'm like, I want to get the time thing. I'm not going to give up. I spent easily like 3 hours on this level just over and over and over again because I wanted it so badly. And now I'm going to do worse because I'm like worried that I uh, 
jinxed myself by saying seven minutes, and now it's going to be another three-hour trek. Okay, so you 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 get close. I don't want to get lax with that move, but that movement's working. Ah, yeah, that's how it is. Okay. Now I just gotta get lucky with the ropes on that next warthog. Definitely looks like a part dog to me. It's coming up, right? Should be this. God, ding, dang, darn it. <laughs> okay. You can only dupe the same warthog so many times before it stops being fun, but it hasn't quite gotten there yet. Okay, I if I if I really gun for it, I can actually just hop over him. I don't need to use the ropes there. I gotta really not stall because I cut it close. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now I just gotta ace the next one. On to the next one, on to the next one. Here it is, I think. No, this is where they introduced the ice. It's the next patch. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait like this. Oh, yeah, that's right. Waiting a, a, a second helps tremendously. Did I just floor, thwart my own? No. Come on, come on. We are so close. Let's go. Please give it to me, gold. And there it is within the seven minutes. I've had a great time doing this. I hope you all have had a at least a decent time watching this. My, my only hope is that this is not a bad time. Um, thank you for watching. Next time we you see me in Crash, it will be Crash 2. In the future, we can come back to this one. I am not opposed to that, but let's... I'm excited to jump into Crash 2. So thank you for watching, and have a good one.